Back with this part for one final video. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through the steps needed to post-optimize code for our Haas CNC machine. So again, we're gonna assume that we've got a Haas machine we wanna run this part on. And uh, there's a few extra steps we can take to make sure it's gonna run a little bit better on that Haas machine. So the first and most obvious thing is that uh, the machine that we're using inside of Mastercam is in fact not a Haas machine, it's just the default mill. And I believe it was in 2018, uh, the Mastercam install stopped coming with multiple machines uh, to pick from. So by default now, I think all you get in all of your machine types is just a default mill, a default lay, the default uh, whatever the machine may be. Um, so it's not that those machine or um, machine specific definitions don't exist for Fanuc or Haas or Akuma. It's just that now you need to go to Mastercam's website and get the appropriate information and then bring that into Mastercam and use the proper machine setup. So that's what we're going to do right now is get the Haas machine from Mastercam's website, install it into this file, take advantage of a few options in that post slash uh, machine setup, and then uh, post the G code out. So here we are over on Mastercam.com. Head over to the support tab and then down to tech exchange. And once this loads up, I am on the post tab. So again, you might need to click on this post tab when you get here. And uh, I'm looking for the Haas machine. This is Fidel, Fidel, Dynapath, Siemens. Uh, this is MPFAN is kind of like a, a generic post, a generic Fnook post that is uh, much easier to edit. But that again, is not what we're after. Scrolling down, so here we're getting into the Haas, the 5-axis VF trunnion machine. Um, this will probably work, but again, it, it, there's more than what we need here, so I'm going to skip past that. Skip past the 4-axis. We're only doing 3-axis stuff here. So there's the file I want, generic Haas 3x mil. So I'm just going to click on the download page here. And this should download a zipped file. And I'm just going to move that to my desktop quickly just to make it easier to deal with. So here it is there. I'm just going to go and put that on my desktop. Okay, just uh, for ease of use for me. Um, obviously, you would put this in a location that makes most sense for you and your, your setup. Uh, we do have other videos in our blog library about installing machine definitions and where they should go and all that stuff. But if you want extra information about that, uh, seek out that blog video. I'm trying to keep this video a little bit shorter. So we're not going to go super in-depth with this with this step. Uh, so basically what I've got is a zip file on my desktop. Uh, obviously step one, unzip it. So we're going to extract all. Again, just sticking it on my desktop. And notice we've got a metric mill definition, an inch mill definition, a control definition, and a post. Okay, so that's what comes with that uh, download from mastercam.com. So before we get the Haas machine brought in here, let's just do a quick check of what this is going to look like as is, the G-code that is. I'm going to post out the G-code just for this one operation. So here is that file. Um, looking at a first glance, there's our tool number 501. We might need to update that. I don't, I don't know if our Haas machine will accept a tool number of 501. Um, but we'll just pretend it will for now. That's, that's a minor, minor thing. Uh, but at first glance, I'm not seeing any work offset getting outputs anywhere. We're like, we're not seeing a G54 or anything. Uh, this is the helical motion. You were getting a G3, X, Y, and Z. So we are getting helical motion output in this mill default post. And other than that, there's nothing really fancy with this, this file. So about 20,000 lines of code. This code will most likely work fine on our Haas machine. There's our G43, so that's a style of formatting Haas will accept. You know, just your basic G1s and G2s uh, will work fine. Uh, so we don't really have to change machine definitions for this file, but I think it's best to use the proper post for the machine that we're going to use. So let's just uh, close that down here, and let's go into switching our machine definition. So to switch the machine for this file, we're going to go into files. Here's our machine that's currently selected. I'm going to replace it. 
and remember I did this download to my desktop. I want the inch version here, so generic Haas 3x mil. Open. Okay, so um, there is an issue right there. So the post that this machine definition is grabbing is grabbing the post from my default install location because I've actually downloaded and installed this Haas machine and put it in its proper location already. So it's just by default looking in that location where it thinks the post should be. It is seeing it, so it's grabbing that post. I don't want my install right now to look at that post. I want it to look at just the folder I downloaded onto my desktop. Okay, so I'm just going to hit that OK there. And to make that edit, I'm going to be on my machine tab and go to machine definition. A little warning here saying you're about to you know, edit the definition of a machine that's already open, so I'll just click OK. So here's where we get the extra information about what this machine definition is using as one, the control definition, and two, the post. So the control definition you can see there is coming from that default install folder location, so I'm going to pick a new one, and I want to pick the one that came with the download that I just selected. Hit OK. Again, looking at our blog page, you can find more information about this install and where things should go. But for just for this example, I'm going through this a little bit quicker. Okay, so now I can go into my control definition and select the correct post. And I want the one, again, from my desktop. Okay. And then I'll select that from the pull down. Okay, so the files I just downloaded from the MashCam website are now, now all active for this machine definition. Okay, so I'll leave everything as is for right now. Just click OK. So desktop, desktop, that's all good. Yes, save. So now I have a Haas machine using a Haas post and the Haas control definition. So in the next video, we're going to look at posting the NC code.